Good morning, lovely people. So last week, one of my clients announced a new partnership. And so I figured I'd show you a little bit of the behind the scenes of how we pick reporters and how we send out pitches. But first. So in case you're new here, I'm Zuri. I'm a scientist and PR strategist based here in Virginia. And I basically help biotech companies tell their stories. Last week, one of my clients announced a new partnership. This client develops technologies and treatments that basically help to extend the healthy lifespan of human beings. So last week, they announced a new partnership with a biobank. And a biobank is basically a repository that stores biological samples for research. Now, my job as a PR strategist is to help get this news out everywhere. So my team and I developed media lists and pitches to get this news out to very specific reporters who are interested in the news. So I'll show you a little bit of the behind the scenes of what it looks like to use our favorite PR tool to help us find reporters and send out pitches to them. Okay, my loves. All right, so I switched it up on you. We're in a different room. It's a different day, all new everything. So the software that we use to find journalists and kind of source them, figure out what topics they're interested in is Muckrack. It's a really awesome tool to help just kind of source which journalists might be interested in the topic that you're pitching out. So on Muckrack's website, you can search for a particular journalist by name. You can also do it by keyword, by topic of article. You can also look at at journalists by like the outlets that they work for, so many other features, but you can also search for articles, media outlets, and broadcasts as well, which unfortunately I haven't used yet. So for this company announcement, we wanna find reporters who are actually interested in talking about aging and longevity research. So if I wanted to type in longevity, it will actually pull up a bunch of reporters who uh, either talk about longevity or it's mentioned in their you know their twitter description or in an article that they've written or even something that they've shared on twitter so in the software we can actually also add all of these journalists to a media list if you click on this right here you can choose from a media list that's already been created or you can create a new one and add them to it automatically and so you can actually go through each reporter that's on here and add them to a separate media list or you can actually just go ahead and directly pitch them right from this screen here. So that's what we've mostly been using Muckrack for, to create media lists and also send out pitches to reporters. So for this announcement, we actually wanted to create two separate media lists, one that focused on biotech trade publications and one that focused more so on like mainstream um, and feature reporters. So with the biotech trades, the whole purpose of focusing on those is to let them know about the news and so that they can kind of report on it specifically for that day. And then with the feature articles and the mainstream reporters, we wanted to pitch out the news to let them know, here's an interesting topic. Would you be interested in learning more so that like down the line in a few weeks and a few months, they might actually be interested in writing a long form feature article about it. So I won't go into all of the detail how we specifically did that for this campaign, only because I want to keep some of the information private, but let's check out what our actual results were. So we received three media hits in last week in trade publications. Now three publications is pretty good, but we obviously would have liked to see more. And there's a couple of reasons for this. One is that this topic is very niche. So there's not a lot of reporters talking about, you know, aging or longevity or biobanks, so we just don't have as many reporters to reach out to. Number two is that reporters might not be covering this topic at this moment. So just because a reporter covered this topic like biobanks or longevity two months ago does not mean that they're covering it right now. And number three is that reporters have multiple stories that they're working on, so they actually just may not have time to cover the news at the moment. But most importantly, the client was satisfied and the efforts that we put into pitching brought three more articles to them than they would have otherwise had. And to be honest for me, like this work is very challenging, but that's why I love it so much because getting people to care about science is really difficult. So when we do actually get media hits, it's so rewarding. That's it for today. If you want to learn more about PR or life science communications, let me know in the comments below. And until next time, stay curious. For this announcement, we wanted to actually, oh, excuse me. That's all for me today. <laughs> uh.